So, let's talk about something a little less nerdy, just uh, just for a change. You might have noticed I've um, I've got a, you know, a tattoo or two, just here and there. I recently went in and had a new one done at uh, Ink Studio in wonderful Exeter. If you're in the Devon or Exeter area, seriously go and uh, come in and see Abby and, uh, and her team. They are absolutely lovely. They are very, very friendly and they do fantastic work as well. So, I've been going in there ever since Basically, it's opened, and um, uh, Abby's been tattooing me for several years now, and she's built up this sleeve full of pop culture references and working on this other sleeve here. Almost everything that you see on me, she's done, and she, uh, she's been coming up with, uh, with lots of ideas as to what we could do, and we decided to have a bear skull uh, crown at the top of what would basically be uh, a sleeve that looks like armour going down my left arm. And we went in and uh, she drew on me a lot to try and work out the flow of it. Um, I sat around with my vest off of one shoulder and looking a little bit like Beyonce from all the single ladies video. So naturally the common sense thing to do was basically try and copy the dance and with mixed results. I, I, was, I was using the wrong hand uh, anyway. Basically, she uh, ended up uh, inking it all in, and it looked really, really great afterwards. I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm going to be getting more of it done soon. Yeah, I can't speak highly enough about Abby and her work and her shop. But what I wanted to share with you was something that's a little bit nerd-related in, in regards to tattoos, and I wanted to tell you about basically the most uncomfortable experience I've had having a tattoo. Uh, my sister and I, uh, who, who you will have seen, we went to Asylum 14, uh, we're both Supernatural fans, and uh, she had been talking for ages about having a pairing tattoo, I really wanted to have a pairing tattoo with her, and we went through all of our fandoms, like Doctor Who and so on, and we landed on Supernatural, and naturally, if it's a supernatural tattoo, the first thing you think of is the anti-possession tattoo like Sam and Dean have. And uh, my sister was very sensible, she had it done on her arm. I didn't have any space on that arm and I had plans for this one so I thought, oh hey, let's be authentic and actually have it done right in the spot, just like Sam and Dean did. Well, that was me thinking, it's plenty fleshy, all that sort of thing and um, yeah. Ordinarily, when I'm getting tattooed, little tattoos or big tattoos, I, I you know, there's, there's a fair amount of swearing that goes on. Just banter between Abby and I. I. For some reason, I didn't swear. There were tears streaming out the sides of my eyes. Uh, there was me holding my ribs like this and pulling uncomfortable faces. And, uh, and, and bless her, Abby was just kept carving away at it to try and get it in, get it sorted out. Um, you might be able to tell that instead of doing the whole, the whole black, all black thing for the uh, the sun sparks around it, that she just basically just shaded it instead. And uh, I'm really glad she did because that meant that it went a lot quicker. Now ordinarily, if uh, something is, is particularly painful, I'll make a joke with Abby and I'll, uh, I'll be, you know, for instance like this, these ones, I said, bloody old girl, it feels like you're slitting my wrist. She goes, that's because I am. That's the sort of sense of humour she's got. When we were doing the, the bear thing, when she got up to this bit up here and everything, I was, I was saying, you know, for crying out loud, it feels like you're cutting my head off. And she goes, that's because I am. That's her sense of humour. This time, she was doing this one. <laughs> and there I was, in agony. And, uh, and, and I end up saying, it feels like you're pulling the heart out of my chest. And she goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was in so much pain that my tattoo artist forgot her sense of humour. <laughs> Eventually, uh, I'm going to have to have the other side done, and um, she has asked, begged, and recently threatened me uh, by saying that I have to have numbing cream put on it by the time that I actually have something done there. And honestly, I, I don't need much convincing in regards to that. That's the way it's going to happen. But anyway, that's the, the most uncomfortable tattoo I've ever had, and, um, you know, I'm... <sighs> Obviously I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm still going back in, and uh, over time I will show you more of the progress as and when I get it. Bit of an odd one for you this time, uh, we've had some modem problems for being able to do regular episodes, sorry about that, so we just basically thrown together this little one for you just to 
past the time. But we're going to be back on Monday with a review for Terminator Genesis. In the meantime, uh, if this story hasn't put you off the idea of getting tattooed, why not have a look at Ink Studios if you're in the Exeter area? They are really fantastic, very, very friendly. Their website is going to be in the description below, along with the links for Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter for the Live From Your Mother's Facebook pages. Also, why not hit subscribe for more? Any suggestions or tattoo stories? Put them in the description below. And I will see you again on Monday with more Live From Your Mother's Basement, Jana Mila-san! Or something. <laughs>